how do you write a mystery? Now, I know that's a huge question. And like you said, you teach workshops. We could talk about that for days and days and days. And that's, but just at a high level, and I'm not talking about the research because I'm going to ask you about the research because that's really interesting as well. It's the best part of my job. And it sounds like it. Yeah, it, it sounds like it. So like I said, I have a whole section that we're going to talk about the research, but at a sort of higher level, um, when, when the time comes and you say, okay, it's time for me to write number 19 of, of the series, for example, just tell me at a high level sort of what that process entails. I can only come at it from, I write a series, so yeah. I have a cast of characters now, and my series goes a few months ahead in her life, mm -hmm. you know, what would be happening. So it's, for me, it's, I think you have to think of the setting and place where the story takes place, because no matter if you're writing a, a story set in Paris, or in Noe Valley, or in Reno, it's, it's a character in the story, because mm -hmm. why is this story taking place here? Yep. And I think, what is, you think, what is the story? Why is it happening here? And why now? I think those are questions you should ask before you start writing. Right. It's the what if, you mm -hmm. know, what if. So w ask yourself questions. What it, what's going on? Who's going to get involved? Why would they get involved? What can happen? Why here? Why now? I think asking those questions, you go, well, of course, because it's subconsciously in your mind. You're going, yes, it's about this or that. I'm going to it starts to take shape. Yeah. Ask yourself, why here? Why now? Yep. And you just talked about place as being a big factor in that. And for you, place is Paris. Mm -hmm. And all of these, um, for people who don't already know, all of, your, all of your stories in the Aimé Le Duc series happen in Paris. And you said that in one of the, uh, in Writer's Digest interview from, um, last year, I think you said that you start, or they said that you start by picking an arrondissement, so an administrative district in Paris, and then a crime that reflects the type of people who live and work there. So tell me a little bit about that. Yes, and you can see, can everyone see right, the look. metro map here? There we go. It's There's a little 20, bright because I yeah, messed up the lighting because the sun just went down. It's not your fault, but yeah, no, it looks pretty good actually right now. Yeah. There's 20 arrondissements in Paris. You can hold it up here. Which is like districts, right? Like yeah. The, uh, there we go. The administrative districts of Paris. There they are. Right. All 20 of them. So I've been writing about actually 18 of these arrondissements, but each arrondissement has four quartiers. So in theory, I could be doing this until I'm in a wheelchair, but I'm oh, not. Oh, okay. Interesting. But yes, for me, it's about this place. What is it that appeals to me? And I want to write about different, you know, what is the character? And often I've read a newspaper article about a crime that happened there, and I realize that, or I, I have friends who are French policemen. I take them out for drinking, wine, and I say, you know, maybe they worked in that district, or they have a friend who worked there. I say, what happens there? Right. And I was very lucky in, in the book we're going to talk about, Murder in um, the Left Bank, that I met a, a policeman who uh, used to be on the beat, you know, cobblestone. Yeah. He, <laughs> in uniform now he's undercover he's okay. uh, plain clothes well plain clothes and this was his area the 13th arrondissement so he told me what it was like when he was younger in the 90s when the, the book 90s, takes place yep. what crimes were here what crimes were there with purse snatching here or wh whatever and it was invaluable I bet. You know, it painted this picture but for me it's to so anyway to get to your question it's it's about what why would this crime why would she you know be happening here what is plausible? What is organic? What would she be doing there? Because she has a business to run. And, and, and so that all comes together. 